One of the most challenging parts of our business is to get steady income. I remember in 2019, February, I was trying to live my dream and leave my job. And I remember it was a Tuesday morning. I was sitting in my classroom and um, I was at my desk no one was there. I was there early in the morning. Um, I don't know how I got there because I was up until like three in the morning the night before. <laughs> so it was like six. Uh, so probably don't remember because, you know, I probably drove on autopilot, you know, like none of us do that. And um, I was there sitting at my desk thinking to myself, how am I ever going to make my dream of going full time and uh, having a steady income possible because I couldn't go full time and leave my job until I figured out a way to have my income be steady. So in that chair that day, I sat there for a little bit, kind of staring off into the rafters in my room, thinking to myself, and I realized that what I was currently doing was not enough. Right. I was making, you know, probably like two to four thousand dollars a month, which is a lot. But what that's what I was basically making as a teacher. So I couldn't just do one or the other, you know, but it wasn't enough money to live off, especially when you, you consider taxes as well as insurance or anything like that. So I was like, okay. So I devised a plan. I said I need to make at least three times the amount that I need to make. Right. And uh, I remember <laughs> I remember sitting there looking up at the Raptors and kind of getting that aha moment. Right. That I realized that the way to have a steady income is to always have more work in your queue than you can do. <laughs> at that time, I always had. Uh, I had work coming in, but I was always full. I was always full. I, I could not do any more. So I, whenever someone would come to me with a job, I'd have to be like, no, I can't do any more. Uh, I, I can't take any more work at this moment. I'm just packed. Okay. And I realized that that, that time that I was only ever going to make that amount of money because there was no more time left in the day for me to do any more work. So I was always turning money away. But the challenge was, was that I needed to make more money in order to leave. So I couldn't figure out what to do. One option that I thought about that day was quitting my job just then, just quit. And, you know, that will give you more time. Well, I wasn't prepared to do that because I thought that was not a very smart idea. OK, uh, for me and my family. The second thing I realized was. I was thinking so much more in terms of clients not understanding or not being able to wait. I had done a lot of work to that point where clients were very in your face. I need stuff now. And there are always going to be those clients. But what I started to realize, too, is that there's a lot of clients that are OK with waiting in line. OK, especially the more and more demand that you get. Right. Uh, you know, I work with a lot of voice actors and that's a big problem for them is I, I can't take on the work. I don't have the time. So I remember that day sitting there thinking, why don't I start packing up? Right. Almost like in order jobs that come to me and just give people a time frame to say, hey, look, this is where I currently am. You know what I mean? And I should be able to get yours done by this time. I know that sounds silly. Like when you think about it, it makes common sense. Like why wouldn't we be doing that in the first place? But I remember specifically being so afraid of not, you know, like not being able to handle voiceover work. So like I didn't take chances. I didn't do auditions. I didn't do this. I didn't do that because I was, you know, kind of like, uh, uh, you know, analysis by that paralysis, right? That fear of, what happens if I do this and all this work comes in and I can't handle it? I'm going to ruin my business. I, I neglected to realize that it's okay to schedule your own stuff. Listen, I think that 
I've been an employee, you know, well, not now because I've owned my business now for, for many years. But as an employee, we are so used to having our schedules handed to us, what we have to do handed to us. There's, all, you know what I mean? There, it, it's, all, it's already planned for us. That, you know, my schedule uh, as a teacher especially was, <laughs> I mean, you right? You talk about a schedule that never changes. Um, you know, it, you just do, and, and it's the same thing over and over again. There's always a schedule. There's always some the specific things that have to be done and taught times that you have to be. I mean, there's everything is always done already and handed to you and you, you know what I mean? You do it. But I think as a business owner, that was such a divergence from what I was used to because I was uh, now in charge of my schedule and how things happen and how I worked with clients and so forth. So I was still living by that fear of, well, I just can't take on more than I can do. But I realized that if I did not have the ability to have work in the future, or at least have some sort of, you know, feeling that, listen, there's work waiting for me. And I have some, you know, I have some actual uh, framework for consistent work, steady work, I, I didn't feel comfortable leaving my job. So what I started doing was, is I started telling clients, hey, listen, great, I'd love to work with you. I'm about two weeks out from being able to get to your job. And you know what I found out? They actually started to, uh, uh, they were okay. People started to work with me and I started to be able to take on more work. And my income started to rise because what I found was, was that I could build a steady stream of income. Now, were there some clients who were like, listen, uh, I can't do, you know, we, we need it right now. Sure. And for a price, they got to move to the front of the line. All right. That, that was one, right. And then all of a sudden my revenue went up because there were people who were okay with it, with waiting. They were totally cool. Right. And a lot of times that was longer form narration. And but then there was people who were needing something really fast and they paid more. Now, there were the people who aren't happy any other way. But honestly, you're going to come across a lot of clients and no matter what you do, they're not happy. But this is a great way to stabilize your business by letting clients know, listen, I'd love to work with you. I'm currently about this amount of time out. You know what I mean? You know, let's go ahead and lock everything in and, and I'll get, you know, I'll get to work as soon as possible. Of course, I'm going to try to get it to sooner, but I just want to let you know where we are. All of a sudden, right, you start getting in that place. And I always accept half down up front and half upon completion. It's how I run Academy Voices this day, too. I always accept half. I make sure that they pay half down front and half upon completion of the project so that it locks in, you know, and usually the client's okay with that because they're not paying full price. They get to, you know, make that final approval. But at the same time, you're getting a down payment to know that, listen, I'm going to do the work. They're serious. Okay. Um, platform wise, you know, you can't don't always take it down. You can't do necessarily stuff on platforms. But the cool thing about platforms too, is that you can schedule further time out. So I, this is a great way to start to solidify your long-term success by setting up consistent work. Now, if you are just beginning and you don't have this work coming in, then that's your goal is to get the work coming in. And the best way to do that, I know it sounds redundant, is to 10x everything you're doing. If you're on that, that train yet, you're starting like 10x your auditions. If you don't know where to get auditions, Every pay to play site, every site that sends you auditions, join them all. Okay, join all and join the free sites, join the paid sites, join them all to get your auditions. Right, start look, you know, looking on different places, but start stacking your work, planning it out. But if you were in that place where I was, and even if you're just starting, I was there, and I'll remember and I'll never forget sitting there in. You know, my classroom, looking up at the rafters and my chair, I could see it. I was in the back of the room and uh, I, my, my, I had this, this big room, uh, lots of, uh, long tables. Cause we did, you know, a lot of, um, architecture work and stuff too, uh, drafting and things as well. Cause you know, I taught theater and also taught stage design and so forth. I was in the back left of the room and, uh, against, you know, up against the corner of the wall and I. I just remember sitting there looking up there, having that like epiphany, that aha moment, because I was turning away so much business. 
And even when you're starting and you're worried, you know, you don't have to turn it away. You don't have to fear that you're going to lose a bunch of business or ruin your business. You have the control. You are in control. So control it. Control your time. And you can control your time with your client as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, I want to tell you about something super exciting. Tickets are live for Vio's Journey Elite Conference 2023. We have an incredible lineup. It's wonderful. It's October 13th through the 15th. There's a link below for you to grab your tickets. So excited about it. You don't want to miss this event. And it's all online. So it's a three-day event. We're the only place that does. I mean, we really like it's all online. We have 20 speakers. It's amazing. You're gonna love this. Uh, it last year was our first year that we did it, and you know, we so many people were like, "This has been life altering." I mean, it's really amazing. And the cool thing is, is I wanted to set something up where you were from your house. You know, you didn't have to go anywhere. You could be in your car. You could be travel. You could watch this conference anywhere. And it's made for online, right? Because they're webinars, conferences, meetings. They're not somewhere else where they're taking a video of them being live. This is all made for online. Uh, and you get to see it a month after. You know, it's recorded. So you get to see it for a month afterwards in case you miss a day or something or you can't go, but you still want to get the information. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, control your schedule. You can do it, all right? Use your sitting in the classroom moment to have that epiphany to control your schedule and your clients. All right, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take it easy. Goodbye. Goodbye.